In this video, we're gonna talk about how to hold the masculine frame with women. Mainly, how to lead your interactions and how to have power and control over yourself and where you're going with the woman that you're dating. All right, so what is frame? Frame means your perspective. In other words, we're coming from your perspective, the way you see the world, the way you want to be, and the presence that you exude when you're in this place of your perspective. So in other words, if I'm holding frame, then I'm gonna stay in the place that I reside with myself mentally and emotionally. I'm not gonna get wrapped up in how somebody else is. Now, this is different than empathetically understanding somebody. This means that I'm not gonna get wrapped up in their story. So in other words, if she has an opinion about something, that's totally fine. She could have the opinion that she wants. It's not gonna affect the way that I operate. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna take it personally. Anything can happen, but I'm always gonna reside in the place that I wish to reside internally within myself. So everything comes from my perspective. Now this doesn't mean we're being heartless. It just means that we can see it objectively for how it is and not get wrapped up in her story and emotions. One of the main problems that guys have when they're trying to lead the relationship is they get caught up in the emotion that the woman is having and he sees it from her perspective, which is totally fine. We want to empathetically see that, but then he ends up going too far into sympathy and then he ends up feeling for her and gets caught up in her world, caught up in her frame, caught up in her emotional state. And then from this place, usually there's this weird victimhood, this poor me attitude, or he just starts following her wherever she goes. Oh, you like this? I guess I like it too. Oh, you wanna go here? Cool, I'll go there too. And while it's okay to be agreeable, the problem is you get wrapped up in her frame, she is automatically or accidentally now leading the interactions and conversations. You just start end up following it. And this is what it means by masculine energy leading. If she is in, the, in your frame, then she's gonna naturally fall into this place. This isn't about being dominating or dictatorial. What this is, is this, you're just naturally going from your perspective and you have a strong personality, strong center, strong who you are. And then you're just saying, hey, this is who I am and this is where I wanna go. And you're not doing anything. You're not doing any kind of judging her. You're just staying here in this space from your perspective. When you're leading very strongly with your masculine frame, there's gonna be a tendency to start following what you do. And for some women, they may be very feminine, they'll follow into this, they'll start falling into it. And so you have to be careful not to take advantage of this. And if you go too far with it, she might get this sense of she's losing herself in the relationship and she'll want space and distance from you. And so whenever you're leading from a strong masculine frame, you gotta always take into consideration what she wants and where she's going. She wants to feel like she's a partner. She wants to feel like she's going on this journey with you. She doesn't want to be a victim of where you're going and what you're doing. This tends to be the problem with guys who are too full of themselves. They'll just keep doing things and doing things and doing things. She's following and following and following and then all of a sudden she's like, hey, uh, I think I'm gonna go do my own thing. And he's like, what are you talking about? And then they have a collision because he's not being considered of where she is and where she's going. In other words, his masculine frame is so strong that he forgets about her completely and just wants his follower. You don't wanna be that guy. So make sure that when you're with her, you get some consideration, you give her the opportunity to chime in with what you're doing and where you're going and why. If she doesn't fall into your frame, that's totally fine. She doesn't have to. If she's gonna follow your lead, she's gonna have to trust you on some level. So if she doesn't fall into it, that's okay. That just means that there's this level of trust that just hasn't been established, and maybe you need to be more open and forthcoming and more vulnerable in the way that you are without losing your frame or getting too much into an emotional state where you lose control. If you are in a, with a woman who's just very hammering this hard, maybe she's not a good match for you because a good woman who, I wouldn't say a good woman, but a woman who like matches you well will naturally start falling into your masculine frame. Why? Because she wants you to lead the interaction in some form or fashion, not by telling her, but just by the way that you're doing and the way that you're operating, she's going to start falling into it naturally. So if you have a lot of resistance to this, you could be with somebody who just has a lot of issues trusting. Just watch what's happening, see how the interaction is, and if she's vibing with you, she falls into it naturally, that just means that there's a good level of trust with her, and you could probably move things forward at a considerable rate with her. Now, one way to maintain your frame in a relationship or in a romantic setting or even in the boardroom is make sure that you know where you're going with your life. What is your vision and why are you going there? If you have a strong enough why, you're not gonna come off of it so easy just because of somebody else's opinion. You're gonna have commitment, conviction, and certainty into where you're going and why you're going there, which allows you to come off as trustable and grounded and certain into who you are. Of course, you're not gonna have this vision if you don't know yourself very well. If you're not really introspective enough to really figure that out, that whole frame comes from this sense of having a purpose and direction, a meaningful and compelling why for your life. If you don't have that, you're gonna have a hard time really maintaining your frame at all. If you're not really sure about how to create your own frame or where you're going and why, 
You can take the four domains of body, being, balance, and business that we use here at Genuine Attraction. So your body being your fuel and your fitness, how do you want to be in your fitness and your dress and the way you look and the way that you emote and your charisma and stuff. Balance, the way that you have with your friends and the girls in your life or your wife and your children and how are you putting enough attention and, and certainty and whatever it is that you want for your progenies. Being in the sense of what is your relationship with yourself first and in an extension of that, what is your relationship with God? And then business, why are you making money and to what extent is this money gonna fuel the kingdom or whatever it is you're trying to build? If you have these things in, in order, you can kind of like look, take those frames of body being balanced in business and look at your situation, your life and see like, What's the context and container of what it is I'm trying to create and why am I here to begin with? Like, what is it that I'm trying to do here in this life? Am I just here for pleasure, for this validation, to just make a lot of money, all these external and materialistic things? Or is there a higher purpose to what it is I'm doing? And if there isn't, can I take what I'm doing and create it into something like this so I can have meaning and value in my life so that when I do have my frame, it comes from a higher place. It's not just this materialistic, selfish way of operating in life, but from a place of certainty, power, and conviction. Now we need to be very clear about this. You do not want to break your frame because if you do, it shows that your personality is not as strong as it could be. Your conviction and certainty in what you're doing in life is not quite as strong. So you losing frame shows that you don't have strength. In other words, she can't trust that. And if she can't trust that, she can't trust you. Even worse is you won't be able to trust yourself. Getting clear and being very solid in your frame is absolutely key and you do not want to lose frame. And this takes a little bit of practice because if you're a guy who doesn't have a lot of strong conviction, you got nice guy tendencies, you're gonna fall into the, everybody else's frame so much because you find that if you're agreeable, if you're affable, if you're a nice dude, then people will tend to um, see you better in a way that they treat you a little bit better, but at the same time, it's just very shallow and there's no depth to it so that they don't have the trust in you. They don't have the conviction. They don't see your strength. And so you have to see that for yourself. And when you see that for yourself, you're able to demonstrate that to yourself, then you can start becoming more secure, more attached to yourself, more securely attached. And because your frame is so strong, you don't have to accept things you don't want in your life. In fact, you probably should reject them. You should become intolerant to the things that don't help you in your purpose in, in your life, like where you're trying to go, what's your compelling vision, what's your passion. And so if you want a woman to fall into your frame and follow you on this path that you're taking her, which is usually what a woman's asking you when she says, hey, where is this going? She's not asking for a commitment. She's trying to figure out where it is you're taking her and you're not certain and convicted on this, then What's going to happen is, is that it's not going to, it's going to have a very unstable foundation. And at some point, she's going to poke all the holes in it. She's going to start questioning you and belittling you. And when you scapegoat or just deflect, you just prove to her even more that you're not really strongly convicted and you don't really know what it is where you're going or who you are. And so you don't ever want to lose that frame and you don't ever want to allow people in your life to sabotage this. And you want to make sure that the person that you're with is a good match for this and can fall into this direction that you're creating for yourself and for God and your family that you would create with her. And the last tip we want to share with you, or I'm going to share with you is always be willing to walk away. There's no woman who's so important that you could lose your frame or your compelling vision or your why, or your certainty with God and your conviction and the path that he's put you on. No woman is worth that, even if you're already married to her. And I just want you to realize that if you come into conflict with this and you make your wife your life, in other words, your false idol, God will take care of your marriage for you so he can set you free and get you to be powerful in your own conviction so that you can now be a servant for him. Regardless if you believe this to be the case, this is kind of how it operates. And you'll see this eventually if you keep rolling with me as a direct experience. Experience. If you're not willing to walk away, this gives her a free pass to whatever she would do. She cheats on you, ah, I can't leave her, we're married. Gets a drug addiction, she becomes abusive, maybe she hurts your children, like I gotta stay with her, you know, this, we, we gotta do this. And the thing is, is that you don't have any repercussions. What you'll find in those relationships, she'll be the first one to tell you she'll leave you on the drop of a hat. The problem is, is that you aren't willing to leave her. And so you lose all your frame, you lose all your control, you leave all your power and conviction, certainty to who you wanna be, your compelling vision, or maybe you don't even have the power to even think about it. All right, brother, hope this video has been helpful for you with frame control. If you like this video, hit the like button and hit subscribe too if you want to see more and hit the bell if you want to get notified the next time I come up with a new video.